This forecast update effective around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, October 8, 2013. And guys, just like we've been advertising over the last several days about a possible coastal storm developing and a major swell event coming out of the North Atlantic. It all looks like it's starting to come together now. There is a little bit of uncertainty in the forecast, and we're going to show you that in today's update. But uh, if you're tuning in for the surf forecast for the Florida State Surfing Championships in Jacksonville Beach or the Atlantic Surfing Federation's Championship being held in Sebastian. I'm going to go ahead and combine this in the update. It does look like at the moment that we could see possible surf alert conditions for the Florida State Surfing Championships at the Jacksonville Beach Pier this weekend and fun surf alert conditions for the Atlantic Surfing Federation's contest down in Sebastian Inlet this weekend. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Hopefully we'll be able to do an update on that over the next couple of days and maybe separate them out for you. But here's what it's looking like at the moment in the recent satellite imagery. We now have the remnants of Tropical Storm Karen just north of Central Florida. This was a little bit further south than what the forecast models were projecting. So there's where the uncertainty starts to develop here. But it really looks good this morning that we could see this start to come together as it pulls off towards the north and northeast. Taking a little bit wider view, what the models were suggesting was that the remnants of Tropical Storm Karen located over here off the Florida coast was going to move up in here towards the mid-Atlantic and another area of low pressure currently south of Bermuda was also going to move up in this direction and the two combine east of the Outer Banks and develop a coastal low. Now there is a gale warning in effect for the mid-Atlantic states currently and a gale watch is in effect off the southeast U.S. coast in here east of South Carolina. So we do have some increasing north-northeast flow. All of the buoys from the mid-Atlantic down into Gray's Reef were cranking up this morning. North-northeast 25 to 30 knots and then down in here to Gray's Reef northeast 15 to 20 knots. The pressure gradient is going to tighten so we've got increasing surf conditions uh, coming up for the entire south Florida are all the way down into South Florida over the next several days. Going to put this into motion for you in the infrared satellite imagery and you can see convection is really firing up just off the southeast U.S. coast as the remnants of Tropical Storm Karen move out into the Atlantic along combined with the front that is now moving off towards the east. And then south of over here, Bermuda, here's this other area of low pressure and you can see convection is firing up along with this as well. So we're going to be watching for these two features to possibly combine up here east of the Outer Banks and develop a coastal low is what we're going to be watching for. Now, the next thing that we've been watching over the last couple of days and calling for a major swell event is this area of low pressure that is in the North Atlantic. Yesterday, the seas were uh, about 16 feet and in the last 24 hours have now built up to 25 feet, reaching the major swell event category that we define here at Daboo.com. Looking at the latest 72-hour swell forecast, and you can see that that low that we just showed you is going to create a north-northeast ground swell of about 10 to 14 seconds that's due to arrive uh, through the island of Hispaniola, Puerto, Rican, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Uh, it's unclear at the moment of size, but it's looking like Puerto Rico should get into the overhead status uh, with some fairly good conditions. This is the first true north winter ground swell that the islands are going to see and look forward to forecasting uh, more of these events as the winter starts to unfold. As we move into the 96-hour forecast, you can see that the, that Florida is basically on the cusp of that northeast ground swell. Uh, you can see that in the 96 hours, that long period ground swell now reaches out into the Bahamas, and there's some hope that we could start to see some of that long period stuff get into East Florida this weekend. So we're going to be watching for that as well. You'll have to check back in for the updates on that. Now, here's where the uncertainty comes in. The latest tropical Atlantic forecast branch. This is the 72-hour surface map and wind wave projection.
projection uh, is showing that the area of low pressure, what is the remnants of Tropical Storm Karen sitting down off the East Florida coast, that's not what the models were showing. And it could be the fact that the uh, Tropical Atlantic Forecast Branch has not updated their 72-hour map. But currently, they're showing that the area of low pressure is going to be sitting here over the next 72 hours. And uh, seas are going to be building five to six feet in between uh, the low and the North Florida coast. And then three to four feet down in here towards um, uh, South Florida in between the Bahamas. A little bit smaller as you get in towards Palm Beach, but that's going to be changing as the pressure gradient starts to develop and tighten. So around the 96 hour mark, we should see some of that northeast flow make it down in here towards South Florida with increasing surf conditions. Uh, that's all we got for you for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update.